Hi everybody, it's Julie. And today I am uh, working on some page ideas to have ready um, for my, sorry, the cat, the cat had a rose. <laughs> the cat had a rose on her. That's not unusual that the big fluff midnight comes in a <laughs> craft room and ends up with something on her. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what I've uh, pulled out of my rose box. So I have several of these gift wrapped. Um, the, it's a, it's, it's a folder of gift wrap. Okay. So today I'm making pages and so there's going to be some cards in here that I might be able to use. Look at that. I think that might make a great cover for a journal. And um, so there's four different designs on four 18 by 24 sheets with four matching gift cards. Uh, Rodote, I don't know, roses, gift wrap paper, and designed by a VN Waterman. And so there's, there's that Dover publications, if that helps you. Okay. So, um, yeah, but those are in my stash and this is one of them and I've had them for a long time and I believe I got one of them from my mom's, um, stuff. So I think it's beautiful and I think it's going to make beautiful paper for in here. I have a magazine. Um, page. It's actually um, the, it's a rose book. It's actually a rose book. Um, David Austin. Okay. So it's one of their books. I have a couple of really cool sta stationary pages that I'm going to, I want to use. I have this. It is ripped, but I think that's okay. But it's because um, my, you know, roses is my theme. So I have this piece. Um, this is from a roll of paper that I got at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so um, beautiful roll of paper. And so I had started to cut it and then I realized I needed um, a video. So here we are, we're gonna make a video. And that is, it's cut to uh, just under 11 by 12 okay so that i can flip it up and have a pocket and so um i have some avocado dyed pages these are some of the last pages from the avocado orchard that um, sally my sister-in-law's okay um and i have some napkins that are ready for me to use and so yeah so let's go ahead and get started. So an easy one is I like to have little pages. So I'm going to go ahead and fold the stationery so I have a little page. Okay. Very simple. And then I um, am going to do the same thing. This one is beautiful on both sides. And it's more of a peachy mauve. Okay, so that's going to give me that page. And then I am going to go ahead and I am going to fold this on this line. Okay. So this actually would make a really cool pocket. See that? already ripped and everything but there you go i just want a variety of papers um i view i mean we'll have a lot of digitals in here so um so i'm thinking this could be the back to a page so i'm gonna save that and i'll probably end up ripping it and um so you know what of course, I do like them as a page, but this might work as a second pocket in here. Oh, I like that. Okay. 
Okay, and then I've got that that I can use. Okay, so that'll give me a pocket and a pocket. Okay, so I do like a good double pocket page. And so I want to put something up across here. And I think we'll use that. We'll use one of the napkins. Um, let's see. Should we stay pink or should we go ahead and go with... No, because that'll get mostly hidden. Okay. Let's see. How do we want to do this? Okay. I'm going to mark it where... Okay. It needs to go down to here. Okay. It has that and that. I think that'll be good. Will you see that or is it going to get covered? Yeah, the rose. Well, this one you'll see. Maybe we'd be better off going in this direction. That's why we play with it while we're figuring things out. Okay, so to here. Oh, I like that. Okay, I like that. Okay, so um, let's go ahead. And I have a bunch of little things here too in case we can get into making decorating pages. Um, depending on how much time we have. Uh, I'll be doing this because I need to, I need to finish this journal, right? This is for my July uh, Just Bases Junk Journal Challenge where we used just Dear Julie Julie Digitals to, um, <clears throat> to make all kinds of base pages and base elements. So, um, tags and hidden journaling cards and a zine, all the things. And it was, um, it was really fun. It's amazing what you can make using, well, let's make sure before I, before I commit, let's make sure it's going to fit before we commit. Okay, so I messed up over here. So we'll be putting something on the edge. This is really sticky glue stick. <laughs> wow. I miss my uh, Tombow glue stick. It is my favorite. The permanent, uh, this one. Oh, I have some. I thought I was, I thought I was all out. Oh, well. Um, okay, and then we can go around this. And I think I might stitch around this. Okay, so this is a fold-up page is what I call it. Actually, it's a fold-up du double pocket page. Okay, there we go. We'll have, we'll have some of that left. Okay, we might want to go ahead and... Because this is going to be inside of... I think that one's done anyway. I'm trying to use up... There's like glue sticks that were in this drawer... I'm just trying to use things up. Yeah, that'll be better. Okay. So just adding glue to the bottom of the napkin. Putting it down. And then we'll come over here. And I'm going to go ahead and fold this in the same direction that it's going to get folded in the journal. The one thing about working with the roll papers is they roll. Now I did go against the grain and 
try and straighten it, which is, I mean, I wouldn't even be able to be working with it if I hadn't done that. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on these. Okay, now. Hold it from that side where there's no glue. Wish me luck here. Thing is, is this glue dries so quickly. Okay, but I like it. Okay, so we'll have a pocket here and a pocket here. Okay, so a large pocket here and one there. The binding will go down the center. Okay, now we'll go ahead and put this down. I'm gonna go in a little bit because I might cut the edge on that one side off a little bit. Okay. Okay, so that's what we've got. I want to make sure that it, it's going to stay, stay glued, stay down. So again, this is a, a roll, paper roll, paper roll. Okay. And we have a page and I think I am going to go ahead as I cut. This side, the napkin is just okay. So, okay, why is my art glitter glue not gluing? Did I cut it off? Did I cut off where it glued? Could be. Okay, and the it's bubbling up here. That doesn't happen with the uh, with the permanent glue. I don't I don't usually have that happen. But I love it. I think that that is going to make a great. So you'll have a large pocket here and a smaller pocket down here. There you go, I love it. Okay, we've got this uh, magazine page. We've got our small stationary page. We've got this. I was gonna pull out the, um, uh, drawer liner. But it's, uh, it's actually too, okay, I like that. And I've got a bunch of other papers to add in, right? Okay. Because, uh, you know, we made all those pages. Okay, but that gives us a start. Now let's move on to, okay, the wrapping paper page. Wrapping paper page. And it is folded at nine inches. Some of them are upright, some of them are upside down. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Okay, so the open side up, folded side down. I'm gonna cut it at eight and a half. 
the fold side up against here. So cut it at eight and a half. So this is my open side. It is, um, there we go. And we'll go ahead and cut across here. Okay. And that's gonna give me two pages actually. So let's go ahead and that side's the open side. That side, oh, ta-da! We'll just pull that right on out of there. Okay, now with this, I can I can make car, uh, cards, waterfall, all the things with that. So we'll put that up there. And then let's continue with this page. Okay, so see if there's any markings. There's no markings on it. Okay. I am going to turn it in the other direction. Okay. And I need it to be like five inches is where the, the fold is going to go. Okay, so I've folded both at the five inch mark. So this one's gonna fold in that way. And this one's gonna fold in this way. Okay, so going through the journal. And remember, this is my, the digital that I've been using. Okay, so going through, we'll have this. Now, um, we have, okay, this is the right size. You know what, we can make a, uh... so I did, I, I had gotten some, some lined papers ready, but I think I want to make this into a flip-flop. So let me grab this, I'll grab two pages. This edge off this time and then I want it to be under the eight and a half inches so we'll go with uh, let's go with eight and a quarter okay that's gonna give me some scrap for a scrappy notepad if I want to make one okay and then we're going to go ahead and fold this in half. Okay, so we'll fold that in half. And I am going to go ahead and fold this in half also. Okay, so these are going to go like this. And they're going to fit inside here. Okay, so when you open it, you'll have your flip-flop. Now, how do you get your flip-flop? You go ahead and open this, fold it over, like at a quarter to three-eighths, okay? And then you fold it back on the original fold. 
and then go ahead and I'm gonna this time start from the center and I'm gonna add this into here. I'm gonna go to the next one, putting glue on that gutter. Add that into there. Make sure it's on the fold good. Okay, and then I'm gonna add glue here. Oh, I guess we're gonna be a true flip flop. Okay, what that means is we're gonna we're gonna add this. right in here. This is how this got its name. Okay, so we're gonna add it onto that, to the flap. Okay, that being the flap, you open it and you and you get a flip flap, okay? Okay, so you've got this. And the cool thing is, is you don't actually lose any any pages. Okay, so you can write here, here, here. You just lose where what is glued behind there on each of these papers. Okay, but there you have a flip-flop. Okay, so a flip-flop page. And then over here, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put this back. Let's see, what do I have? Looking for something that's, that's long, like this right here. Okay. That's up. Just, <laughs> these are all upside down. Those are right. These are upside down, so it might, this might be a good place to put something on top of it, okay? Um, because it's upside down. Okay, this is not the same. That is. That'll work. Okay, we've been using gold in this journal. So let's grab our gold pen, and we'll go ahead and go around this edge. Could fold it over. This pen is from Dollar Tree. You know what? We'll do the bottom too. Heck, why not? Okay, now this is going to give me a pocket down here. Okay, so remember, I love pockets and I cannot lie. So we're going to first, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to close this. So here and here. And I'm going to close it up the center. Okay. And then we'll go here across the bottom and across here. that in to the crease and right up to the edge. Okay, so this is going to be a long pocket and then the this when I cut it open, okay, so we're going to come over here. We're going to cut cut this down. And I did that because everything was upside down. It just, uh, 
but now we have a pocket here and a pocket here and a pocket here. I'll grab my one inch hole punch, insert it in the pocket and set it up so that it lets us know that there is a pocket here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so double edge pocket with a long pocket. And, um, and then we have over here our flip flop. Okay, so that gives us another page. It's different and I think it's gonna look great with, with this journal. Open that and that's what you're gonna have. <coughs> and come over here and you'll have long pocket next to a double tuck. I like it, okay. Add all of this. That might be a signature right there. So, magazine or flip up a double pocket, stationary short page, uh, <coughs> avocado dyed lace paper, flip flop, double edge pocket. This was our over the edge <coughs> double tuck. The little curtain a shaker. And this paper is supposed to be behind here like that. Actually. Okay. And then that's what you got. This could get um, glued down to whatever it's going on or not. Okay, so a variety of colors, which I think is really, really cool. Okay, back to my pages over here. found a couple of cards that I can possibly use in the journal. So we'll put those up here. I have, I have this. So this could be a flip up pocket. We could just put something here to cover the the words being upside down. I kind of like that idea. I kind of like seeing that. I wish that wasn't upside down, the 23. But okay, I'm gonna not go all the way. I'm gonna come right across here. So we have that little lip up there so it's easy to see. Um, and I'm not gonna glue this yet, okay? I'm not gonna glue it and that is because I don't know if I need more things that come in from the side or from in the top. Now I have this card and I'm going to go ahead and put that down. I think I want it to come off the edge. Yeah. So um, it'll be a little pocket. It'll cover up the, the words there. Now I do also have, I have this. I have these. Like, maybe that could be a belly band. I think I'm going to try that. I could, can I staple it? Oh, 
will my staple go in that far? <clears throat> Let's see. I don't think so. Nope. Okay, but we can try the try the glue on the very edge. It was a set of address labels. I'm not real sure where I got them, but they came off the, the thing they were on. The other thing I have is I have pretty white though. <clears throat> okay, will that fit? Cut it a little more. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So we just added that little belly belly button. <laughs> belly band right there. I like it. And What else do we have? We have things, we have things to decorate things with. Okay, but that is going to be a page and it'll either get glued here or across, across the top, depending on what I have. You know, it's like, what do I have? I have this that can go in from the top. Okay, it's just going to depend on what I need more of. Okay, so another page idea. That was from a Wilton uh, cake book, cake decorating book. Okay, I have, you know what, I probably need the tag more than the page. And then I've got more more of these. And then I have this little wedding cake one. And I think it's okay. I think we'll go ahead and just put it on its side. Okay. And then maybe we can add the Bit. Nope. This might be where we Okay. I think we'll go ahead and grab the good grab the good glue. I don't have, I'm trying not to have a lot of white in this particular journal, so. Okay. So I just put glue on half of it and then I'll come back and I'll tell you what, these glued um, napkins, pages, oh my gosh, they feel amazing. So if we do the center first, try and, and, it, and it dries quickly, so. There we go. Okay, 
I look to see if you have any bubbles. check the edge. If you're concerned about um, the stain, you can sew it. Always a good idea. And I might come back and sew some of these pages after the video. My sewing machine right now, I'm using the one in the kitchen. So, <laughs> I told our, our daughter, I said, yeah, I'm looking for a smaller kitchen table. She says, what will you do with your sewing machine? <laughs> uh, okay. So that gives me a really nice page, I think. I think that'll be really pretty in the journal. That's, this is going to be a very eclectic, very eclectic journal. All different colors of roses. I was, I should have used a little bit of roses and ledger in here because um, so many colors and that, that kit has so many colors. So we have so many rose kits now. And I have another one that I want to do have another idea okay so there's that and I I think the I think this will look fine sideways but the heart and the glasses sideways is is bothering me a little bit but I happen to have this little piece of fabric that I think will will match really well with this and I think we'll just Go ahead and put a pocket over here. I am going to use the fabric tack. Because, you know, want to use all my, all my stuff. Okay, but before I put this down. Cut it there. Sorry about that. And I'm going to cut it there. Grab my fabric scissors. If I can find the the mark. There's the mark for there. There's the mark for there. So let's do this one first. It's gonna give me a nice little stringy. even close to straight. I usually rip, but these were definitely not um, cut straight to be ripped. That's for sure. <laughs> Okay, so we have this um, 
I have, I have this little envelope. But I don't want to lose the So remember, every Friday, we have our freebie Friday fun day. So I give a, fri I give a freebie digital page each Friday. And sometimes um, the Patreon members get an extra. Okay, I did. I wanted to put something on here, and I want to put it on before we put it up and under. I do have. I have these two roses. And a stamp. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay. Okay, so we used some folded wrapping paper today and made a page. We used some rolling pa rolled paper, which could be like wrapping paper on a roll. It could be um, the masking paper. It could be wallpaper on a roll. Um, sometimes tissue paper even comes on a roll. So okay, we did did that. What else did we do? We uh, used a magazine paper. We used some stationery. So um, just trying to give you ideas from things that you might have in your, in your stash. I do have this yellow one. Maybe we'll put them up there. Okay. 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 They're good. And that's the other thing is uh, this dries quickly too. So. Seems to be blocked on this one side. Okay. So. Yeah, so I'm going to have to come up with my cover, and so hopefully that will be tomorrow's video. Um, also, if you were a VIP for June, the group is, um, is open, and you have the new rag quilt background pages and ephemera it is the kit that I'm going to be using with the Raggedy Ann and Andy kit and um, so that is going to be fun it's primary colors perfect for back to school and it is part of the at the fair collection. Okay, look at that. Oh, I like that. Okay, so there's a fabric pocket added to that. Okay, and then we'll come over here and we're going to add. Okay, wait, you go there. Gonna be the best way to add these okay so this is from uh, the wrapping paper that has all the
quotes on it that you've seen you may have seen me use i've been using it for years This happens to be a yellow rose. And then we've got a red rose canceled stamp. I'm just going to go ahead and, well, it's going to just go like that. Okay. Okay. So that gives me another page. And we added the fabric pocket to cover up the, um, the obvious look there and then of course we'll be able to put something in that pocket okay so yeah so another page idea and those go with the page ideas that I had already put together and then I'm going to show you um, maybe show you a couple more. So I have the, uh, for my ledger this time, I have the long ledger. I have some of dad's graph paper. I have a little piece here and I've, it goes this way. I've added one of the um, stickers from the stack of stickers down to the bottom of it, okay? You know, it kind of needs something on this side. I think we'll add this to this side. Okay. There's that. It's got the fun little ring on there. This was uh, from the teacher planner book. I added a scrap that I had and some gold. This is from the parrot or the French book. It was the note paper. This is the green graph paper. Oh, I guess I'm upside down. Um, this is from, yeah, let's start from the other side. <laughs> okay, so another piece of dad's graph paper and I went ahead and flipped up the fluffy. Here's some, um, children's writing paper. This was one of the clusters that I made. Um, that I did on Instagram. And then this was the lined papers. And so there's a little pocket there. We added some of the pieces here. There's a little double pocket here. Added a flap here. That was, um, that was fun. I think that was all part of this this video um, piece from Tim Holtz wildflower here's my belly band that I made for um, a belly band day it was a build a belly band is what I went with and I think that's too big but I'm gonna be able to put a, a card in here tag okay so it's belly band on um, Thomas Guide. And we made a pocket out of a dictionary page and added the other clusters. So there was an Instagram where I made the clusters. So there were three clusters that I made. I made the flip. Okay, then I turned it into a flip. It's a coffee dyed uh, parchment paper. Okay, or deli paper and so there was a flip that I made out of one of them this was the other one and I made the belly band and this was the other cluster and I made it into a pocket so I have all these pages also ready to go into the journal I still have some more of the um, stack of stickers oh this has it's a little piece that can go in here so it's got this and it's so it's so hidden I didn't even remember that it was there okay and there's that that can you know something can go in there so I think it's I think it's pretty cool 
lots and lots of papers that are, there's the other scrap where that's the same one you saw. So I used one side of it here and I used the other side of it here. Okay. So, yeah. So I think I've got enough papers and pages, um, but I did want to add some different textures. So we've got the napkin that makes the paper feel like linen. I've got some fabric. I have added some magazine type pages. That gives you um, a really nice different texture to your journal as well. Then I use the rolled papers. We've got some more napkin here. We've got some black and white, which is always good to add. Um, our lace paper. Here we've got the shiny wrapping paper. This is going to give you um, interactive. It is noisy. And so, um, yeah, so I'm excited. I've got this going to be a pretty big journal, though. Didn't plan for it to be big, but I love the way that turned out. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a whole lot of bright colors and wonderful things to add to this journal. I am so excited to be able to... So this was the Roses of Summer Digital is what I used here, and it's available in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. We have one other thing that we need to fix, and that is our long pocket and our double edge pocket. Both of them had to have an attached pocket, and I'm going to use the um, pages that we made today to attach their pockets. Now, um, I'm doing this really quick because otherwise we won't have it in time for today's premiere. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, remember, I probably should have done this when we were doing it, uh, the pages, but I to save time, I didn't go around these pages. So we're going to go around these pages real quick. And so I'm excited. I was going through what I have. Um, And I love this, I love this kit. This uh, Summer Roses kit is just so pretty. It's actually got a couple of kits in it. Okay, so here we have, now remember I left this down at the bottom, so I wanted that to make sure that that got down at the bottom. It still can get cut off. And we're going to go ahead and put that. I think that looks really pretty. Then you turn it over and you've got this that's just gorgeous. It's my double, double edge pocket with attached pockets. So this attached pocket, remember these were made out of the large tags from a Dear Julie Julie digital kit. And so we're going to come over here and attach this pocket. Now you can attach it as a single pocket, um, as a double pocket, however you want to attach it. I'm going to go ahead and attach it as a single pocket. Okay. And put it on there, line it up. Okay, and now this pocket can be used for uh, journaling, and of course you can and then put something in it as well. And remember, this was our flip flop with the pocket on this side and the pocket on that side, and that's going and then it's got the two double edge pockets here. Okay, so our long double edge pocket with attached pocket is done and so the next one is the long pocket okay so this one also was made with a uh, large 
tag base, okay? We're gonna go ahead and add our gold. And this time it's getting added in the center. So you guys, we have a strange car parked out in front of our house. <laughs> And when I say strange car, it's just, it's just a car. It's the way they parked. They parked in the street. Okay. We have, there's enough room to park in front of our house up off, totally off the street. Most people at least come up the berm and put at least one set of wheels up. So this part, this car is parked in the street and it's in front of our house. And it doesn't look like anybody's in it, but it just is kind of weird, kind of weird. Okay, so that that is that page, and then um, this one, okay. So, yeah, we've had, and we've had some weird things happening in our little town lately so so I did call it in I was like okay it's kind of weird I'm at least call it in. and people um, also leave stolen cars out here all the time not like in front of our house but <laughs> so there we go. Okay, so this is going to be a pocket. And this time, I think this is kind of cool because we bring in the pink with the other colors. And then that will go like that. And then on this side, we'll have the big red rose. And with the pink, I just, I think that that's going to be a great way of incorporating the two together. I am going to close the pocket off down here because it does help to um, make it a stronger pocket. Okay, uh, you know what? Yeah, uh, I think we'll do another double. Okay, so on the other one you saw we did a single this one will do a double. There's no double pocket on, on here. Okay. Okay. So that was the other thing I needed to, um, to do is to show you that I did attach my pockets to a page. Okay. So this was my long pocket and you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I can see that down in there so let's go ahead and okay so you open it you've got your large pockets your smaller pockets and oh like that okay so we've got the long, oh yeah, this is the long pocket, okay, long, long pocket page made out of large tags and then attached pocket, and we made ours an attached double pocket, okay, so yeah, so adding those to the end, and um, I'm excited, those are done, yay, next, remember the Christmas digitals, all of them are on sale through uh, tomorrow, through the end of July. Okay, so the, through the end of July, 2024. And um, so do check those out. And there's quite a few, quite a few. So we still have more, more pages. I just did the ephemera video. Um, so that went up over the weekend. And, um, yeah, we got, 
we, we got a good start here. So now I got to figure out my cover. And so I have my, my cover stuff and my cover stuff. And you know what? I have this. So yeah, cover stuff. And so I hope you'll come back tomorrow. We're going to be making the cover. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.